Let's start by selecting the workflow Automated 3D Design. Now the AI automatically sets the occlusal curve based on the position of the current teeth. Select between ideal curve to ensure symmetry on both sides of the patient's arch or match the patient's curve to preserve the existing occlusal curve of the patient's arch. And based on the position of the occlusal curve, the AI creates a 3D small design according to the red proportions or the position and the proportions of the patient's current teeth. I'm going to select match the patient. Wait for the AI to generate the 3D design. Okay, we can now select the composite veneers type of restoration, choose the template that best matches with the patient's existing teeth or facial proportions. Choose the number of units you want to design. Now let's go to tools and adjust the position of the teeth. To finish our design, we will go to Mesh Editor and fine-tune our templates. Let's start by adding material on the area where it's needed. Now let's do the same on the other quadrant.
We can now delete the extra part that we don't need. Let's apply the changes. The last step is to use the AI to check the interproximal spaces. We let the AI analyze each and every tooth and with one click we are going to correct the interproximal spaces. Now let's select correct, apply the changes, and we are now ready to export our 3D Compose Veneer. Let's go to Cut Presets, Compose Veneers, Okay, let's go to 3D layers and have a look at our models. Here is the full model and here is the gap model.